Hey everyone, so I've finally put together a bridal tutorial for you guys. This is what I've created. It is the height of bridal season at the moment here in New Zealand. So I was very inspired to team up with the amazing Makeup with Jar, who you can see right there is her look that she's created. I've linked it down below for you guys to go check out what she has done as well. Hope you guys enjoy. So I've been a makeup artist for roughly about two and a half years now and I've had plenty of time to decipher what products really work on my clients, especially when it comes to weddings. Um, so a lot of these products that I've used are like tried and true products that I feel are like ideal for weddings. So all the products that I use are high end purely because I charge my clients X amount of dollars and they expect the best so I try and put the best on their face. I also just know these products are really reliable in the way of durability so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to be using Max Fix Plus Spray just to hydrate my skin. And then I always like to hydrate and moisturize the skin with Max Strobe Cream. I find this just gives a really nice luminous base to the foundation. For my primer, I'll be using Clinique's Super Primer. Now this doesn't have an SPF in it and it's oil free. And primer is so essential when you have such a massive day like your wedding day. Because you're going to probably put your makeup on fairly early in the morning and it has to last you right through to night time. So you need a really good durable base. I like to put a shitload on to be honest. <laughs> The foundation that I have been using a lot lately, and I have to say I've done a lot of testing on this before I even put it on my clientele, just because it does have a slight amount of SPF in it. I know SPF can create flashback, but I found with this one because it's such a low um, factor, it does not give flashback. I just go with double wear light because it's not as heavy as double wear. Um, and I'm going to be using my Zoeva Silk Finish 102 brush to apply it. It could go on looking orange, you've got to realize the foundation needs to settle into the skin. When it's first applied onto the skin, it might look yellow because it's just at its purest form, but then it starts to warm up with the skin and become more natural. For concealer, I'm gonna be using Max Pro Concealer and Correcting Palette in the shades Light. And I love to use this palette because I find it doesn't crease. The other um, MAC concealer I would use is my Pro Longwear. I've just ran out, but I find uh, 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 this is a really good equivalent. So I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. I'm actually going to use it like a base to my eyeshadow as well, so I'm going to put it on the top of my lids. And then work it in with my finger, because the, warm, the warmth from my finger will just really blend it in nicely. So just to get any blemishes on my face, I'm going to be using NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Custard. Blemishes that need to be forbidden. So I use two different powders, completely up to if you prefer a translucent one or if you like a pressed powder. I use the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and in the colour Medium by MAC. But if you want more of a translucent one, this one is the Clinique Invisible Blend. And I like the Invisible Blend because there's no colour to it whatsoever, so you can put it onto any skin type. But today I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Press Powder. And I'm going to be using my Furless Brush CB4 to apply it. I just like to do soft circular motions to really buff it into the skin and it will add longer durability to your foundation as well. Powder generally adds an extra hour or two to your foundation. It will absorb any oils that start to seep through your foundation. So just to simply warm up my complexion, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Dark Deep Bronzer and I'm just going to be warming up through my cheeks and through my temples. I'm going to be using my Zoeva Lux Face Definer 101 brush and just doing really soft circular motions just to make sure it's all evenly blended out and this is just going to give a really soft sun-kissed finish to your face. Now just to create a really soft contoured appearance about my cheeks I'm going to be using my Laguna NARS bronzer. You'll see that it is a very kind of like cool toned bronzer so there's no sparkle and it's just going to create a really nice soft shadow through my cheeks or my cheek bone. The hollows on my cheeks. <laughs> so um, I will be going with a pink tone. So I'm going to be using Max 
Royal Sunset Blush on my cheeks. I have been absolutely loving this one as well. This is by MAC again, and this is Petal Power Mineralizing Blush. And again, just really soft circular motions through the apples of the cheeks, and then working your way up a little bit towards the temple, and that way you just get such a nice, even finish throughout the whole face. To add a really glowy, dewy effect to the skin, I always, always use Soft and Gentle by MAC. So I'm going to be using that with a fan brush, and this is the best way to apply it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger to apply it on my cupid's bow. So it's completely your preference if you use a powder, a cream, or a pencil to do your brows. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Medium Brown, and I'm going to be applying it with my Zoeva's Wing Liner Brush 317. Of course, first I'm just going to brush my brows into shape. Just... And so I just feather that through really softly. And then I don't add any more product to my brush because I'm just working my way in towards the brow. And less product, the better, because you just want to keep your brows really kind of ombre at the front just to give it a lighter effect so they're not so like blocky. Just to add a little bit of volume and then just to shape them into place, I'm going to be using my Gimme Brow by Benefit and this is Medium Deep. I'm going to be using my, my Naked 3 Urban Decay palette and I'm going to be using this colour here, Limit and Nuna. As you can see, they are some of my favourite colours and they're really nice soft matte colours. And these are going to be going into my eye socket just to define my crease. And I'm going to be using my Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer 227 brush to apply them. And that just goes into my socket and slightly above as well, just to create a really more open appearance about my eye. Now I'm going to be taking that darker colour Nuna, and I'm just going to be defining my crease even further with that, and I'm going to be using my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush, and this is the number 231. adding one of the most amazing colours and pigments I've ever found and I use it all the time on brides. This is the MAC pigment in the colour English Glit. And what I'm going to be doing is wetting it with my Fix Plus Spray and what it does, it becomes quite a wet formula and it dries to a powder but it just becomes more pigmented when it's wet and I'm going to be putting that into the inner corner of my eye. To make my eyes a little bit more smokier, I'm going to be using my Coco Blend palette by Zoeva, and I'm going to be using this color called actually Roasted, and this is going to go on the outer corners of my eye. So using my wing liner brush by Zoeva again, I'm going to be taking the colour Fiends of White and this is just going to create a really soft, smoky effect to my wing liner. I'm not going to have anything too harsh or heavy, I just want it really softly blended out along my lash line. So now that I've finished running that along my lash line, I'm going to be just defining it a little bit further with a liquid liner and I'm going to be using Clinique's Pretty Easy Liquid Liner and I'm just going to try <laughs> take that right up against my lash line and it's just going to be a really, really thin band. So I'm going to be using Clinique's Lash Power. This is a lengthening and defining mascara. It's waterproof, but it removes with warm water when it is warmer than body temperature. It's really cool. The formula wraps itself around the lash and then when you put warm water on it for about 5 to 10 seconds, they peel off. So 
So I'm just going to be using a really soft eyeliner. This is just a bronzy brown color by uh, Clarins. And I'm just going to very, very softly run that along my lash line. I'm going to be applying my false lashes. These are Glam Eyes Natural Lilies. Now these are amazing. A lot of my clientele will prefer to use um, visual lashes like these ones by Ardell and I will just apply them for them. I find these ones are really good because if you do get any crying or anything like that, get quite emotional throughout the day. Um, the band on these, like the inner corner, can sometimes lift and I don't like to risk that with my clients so I will generally use these unless they request these. But generally if you use the right kind of glue, you should be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to be doing a really soft nude pink. So I'm going to be using the lip liner and I swear to god I know I'm not saying this right. It's intense sassafras. That's embarrassing. But um, a really nice nude pink and I'm going to be using Beige Pop by Clinique as well. So just to diffuse any powders, I'm just going to finish off with my setting spray, which is a Fix Plus spray. And this is going to diffuse all powders, so it's just not going to look as powdery, it's going to make it all look a lot more softer. I'll just do a flashback test just to show you guys how the makeup reflects with a flash. <laughs> So there you go guys, that is my bridal makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, I really like this. I like to think it's pretty generic to what a lot of my clientele come and ask me for. So yeah, don't forget to check out Jar's makeup tutorial as well, which I have linked down below for you guys to go check out. And if any of you guys watch this and you know, you've got some ideas or tips from me in the way of your um, big day, I wish you guys all the best on your big day and yeah. <laughs> Have a great day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. My primer is... Back. I'm going to be going into my crease bone. My crease bone? Oh my god. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh my god look at this photo. So I'm going to be using Intense Sessa Farah. Buzz, what? Sessa Faris?